Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and for today's Linux OS review, we are taking a look at Kali Linux. Now, I had quite a few requests to take a look at this uh, distro, so, uh, you know, as I said, that's what we're going to do today. Let me drag over the Kali homepage, go to their front page here. Now, if you are not familiar with Kali Linux, it is a distribution that is uh, set up and designed for penetration testing. Now if you're asking what is that, essentially penetration testing is hacking but for uh, ethical purposes I guess you could say. So somebody that is into penetration testing, you are testing a computer system, um, a, a web app, a network, um, you know, whatever, you're looking for the vulnerabilities that can be exploited, but you are doing it for the purpose of uh, finding the weaknesses so they can be fixed or, you know, improved, however you want to say it, as opposed to, you know, uh, malicious attacking, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So that is the whole idea behind Cali. What they have done is according to according to their website they have over 600 applications for penetration testing on this distribution I did not go through one by one to count them uh, but there's a lot a lot of tools here and if you just look up here under applications um, you can see just the the huge number of um, of applications that we've got for uh, for for testing here. So, uh, needless to say, because of how many there are, I am not going to go through the entire list one by one, um, just because we'd be here forever if I just said their names. But anyway, moving on. Um, Kali Linux uh, evolved from a previous distribution known as Backtrack, and Backtrack was based on Ubuntu, uh, but it eventually evolved into Kali, which is based on Debian. Now, our latest version here uh, of Kali is, which just came out last month, they have gone to a a rolling model, so you uh, you know there's no installing a, a you know the latest edition you know six months nine months a year from here from now it's you know a rolling distro things are going to stay updated you know the the uh, updates are going to roll down the pike as uh, as new uh, uh, new pieces of software developed or improved that sort of thing which is for this type of distribution that's probably a good idea uh, if you are doing penetration testing you are going to want to have the latest uh, the latest tools at your fingertips for doing your penetration testing while we're at Cali's website I would like to take you to the download page to show you something here and let me go and open that up here there are a lot of options here uh, as far as downloading different hardware that you can install on that sort of thing um, right here we've got the standard download images you got 32 and 64 bit they have um, a, a light version and also a mini ISO version and then if you continue on down you can see that they also have uh, Kali ARM images so if you want to you run this on ARM architecture you can do that we got virtual box images here um, and if you scroll on down here you want an updated or custom Kali image um, you know if you look at my desktop here you can see I'm running GNOME which is standard for the uh, for the standard version now maybe you want KDE LXDE whatever um, down here they've got all the instructions here and whatnot so that if you wanted to go and build your own custom version um, you know like I said say you're a KDE kind of person or uh, LXDE whatever you can go and do that uh, what else did I want to show you on the oh documentation um, while we're here on the home page they've got lots of good documentation and actually probably there's better links here on yeah on the front page um, we already talked about the downloads, but they've got some real nice documentation, not just uh, um, how to use some of the tools, but also setup and all that kind of stuff. 
real real good documentation also a fair amount of community support so so definitely uh, definitely take a look at that if you're interested in this distro so let me get this out of the way and we'll start looking around here at the desktop as I said before we are running Debian testing and uh, the desktop is GNOME 3.18 so fairly recent version of GNOME so you've got all the standard uh, um, GNOME utilities you know the GNOME terminal that sort of thing um, a fair number of, uh, of extensions are installed by default um, the, tweak, the GNOME tweak tool is installed by default let me open that up and if you come down here to extensions you can see um, fair number of extension the only thing that I added myself was top icons uh, which is the extension that allows you to see legacy uh, tray icons up here in the top um, other than that I haven't added any but you can see there's a there's a lot of different ones pre-installed for you um, but most of them are well I wouldn't say most of them probably maybe 50 50 or so um, are turned off are turned on turned off that sort of thing so um, there's still plenty of changes that you can make without having to go and add more uh, more extensions as I mentioned earlier tons and tons of software here and I will throw a link to this down in the description below um, here is a complete listing of all of the Kali Linux tools it's on their website and as you can see the list is massive um, so I'm not going to go through them one by one I'll just leave the link down below you can take a look and see what they've got here some of these are are better well known uh, some of these I had never heard of before um, you know uh, what is it that I was looking at before you know Wireshark is on here I, I've messed around with that in the past Armitage I've played around with that a bit um, there's some others but uh, like Wi-Fi honey played around with that but like I said there's just so many here um, and just a lot of them I am not familiar with um, but like I said I'll leave the link so that uh, everyone can go and take a look at everything that's included here besides um, all the testing tools I mentioned before you have the standard um, uh, uh, GNOME utility so we got the GNOME terminal uh, that sort of thing uh, gedit now since we are on Debian uh, let me drag this back over again here we are using ice weasel instead of Firefox for our internet browser and um, for the most part it's essentially you know it's it's rebranded Firefox um, so that you can so they can meet um, uh, the Debian standards uh, and if you're if you're used to uh, if you're normally running a Debian distribution you, you're used to saying that an interesting part of the Kali Linux installation process which installation by the way uh, it's using what looks to me like the standard Debian installer so uh, you know if you've if you've installed Debian, Ubuntu, uh, any of those, you you'll be able to do uh, you'll be able to do uh, Kali Linux. But there is one little thing that's a, somewhat different from what we're used to seeing. They allow you to uh, set yourself up to be able to log in as the, as the root. So you know normally we're used to putting in you know username you know whatever you want to create is your new username give yourself a password and when you're in your distribution anything you want to do as the root you know you use sudo or you know there there's a, you know some other ways that you can get root access um, so you by default have root access and there's and there's reasons for this ton a, a lot of these tools that are used on Kali Linux you need they are command line tools you need root access so many so that rather than having to put in sudo every time you do anything on this distributions they just set it up so that you can be the root user now you can I, I believe I saw an option where you can go and set up a standard user login 
uh, that we're used to seeing, you know, uh, and you'll have to use the sudo. But, um, uh, you know, I just thought it was interesting that uh, you can be the root. So, uh, and while we're while we're talking about that, the uh, uh, if you're going to use you know uh, be the root, uh, change the default root password, okay? Because it's right up on their website, okay? Don't keep it as Tor. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it'd be one thing for you know me doing this video, but uh, you know if you're really going to use this distro, don't keep your uh, your root password as Tor. As far as usability, stability, that sort of thing, everything was working fine here. No problems as, as far as that goes. Um, I did not get a chance to go through and use every single tool. Uh, so I can't really say that every everything is running 100% and no glitches there. But what I did use, it worked fine. No issues with uh, you know the Debian base, with GNOME. You know, none of those sorts of things. The one hiccup I did run into was the installer crashed on me while I was installing this on my laptop. I restarted the installation process. Everything ran fine. Um, you know, second install went down without a hitch. So, uh, you know, uh, those kind of glitches happen and whatnot. So no real big deal there. But I, I believe in being thorough, so I wanted to bring that up. Well, that just about finishes this video up. Um, I know it wasn't real long. However, I am going to do a few follow-up videos on how to do various things with some of the tools here. And, you know, essentially, I don't want to show you how to hack, but uh, what, what I am interested in doing is showing you how to use some of these penetration tools to do a little testing on your own you know okay I created this password for I don't know my my Wi-Fi and how secure really is my Wi-Fi network boom let's go and take a look and see how we did or you know my home network my small business network I want to do a little checking on my own you know how secure am I you know you can do a little bit of testing on your own so you know I do these tutorials here on on doing this penetration testing I don't want you going out there and using it to hack into your company's uh, uh, your company's network <laughs> anyway um, like I said that about finishes things up here as always leave comments questions all that kind of stuff down below I will try to get to them as soon as possible Give us a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you are not a subscriber. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks a lot.